Good morning. For those of you that I don't know, I'm Kim Rowland, and I've been a member here at Shepherd of the Woods since 2003. My daughter Hannah, who's usually here with me, has been a member since she was baptized as a baby in 2001. So we're very connected to this church, and I was asked this morning to speak on the two core principles of the church, which are, one, that the witness of the church is to all people, and the second is that as the body of Christ, we care for all people. One of the things that really makes me feel compelled to be here at Shepherd of the Woods is that we do really worship or minister to all kinds of people. We have so many opportunities here at this church. Um, personally, I have had the opportunity to travel to Peru a few times and minister there. And it's if you've never been, I urge you, if you have the opportunity to go, it really is life-changing. But not everybody wants to go 3,000 miles to minister, so there are multiple opportunities here in our community, whether it's um, the, our youth group serving at Clara White or the Beaches Mission House we do quite often, uh, once a month, I think, or every other month. Um, Pastor mentioned the prayer quilts in the back of the church that's ministering to people in the community who are ill and letting them know that we care for them. There's a quote that Pastor Johnson says quite often, and I love it, it's from St. Francis of Assisi, and it's preach the gospel at all times, and if necessary, use words. And a lot of people aren't really comfortable talking about the gospel or, or talking about God's love to other people, but you, you don't have to use words to do that. You can just show the love of Christ, and that's what we do in Peru. When we started going to Peru, we established these Lutheran social services in Tarma before we ever built a church there. And the point of that was to show people that we care for them and that God cares for them and to share that love through our actions and our giving. And that continues to this day, that ministry has grown. And as Pastor Peacock mentioned this morning, one of the ways that you can do that without ever leaving home is to sponsor a child with a school uniform so that they can go to school and become educated and break the cycle of poverty. Um, some of the other things that we have done, we have for many years sponsored a meal for the migrant workers in the Hastings area. That's a ministry that's near and dear to me. I grew up in the area. My family were farmers, and I, I grew up as a child in high school. I had the opportunity to go with one of the sisters to a migrant ministry, so um, I actually brought that to the church, and we started cooking and serving a meal to the people in that area once a year, which a lot of you have helped with that and, and gone and been able to experience that. You can cut quilt squares or sew quilts if that's your gift. Um, you, you don't have to leave. You don't have to do big things and go out in the world and do mission trips or go to Africa or Haiti or anything. If you look at your pink ministry insert, there are ways every week that you can share the love of Christ, whether it's teaching Sunday school. I'm sure Angie would um, encourage you. I, I've been able to do that for quite a few years. And, you know, sharing the love of Christ with the kids in our congregation and with their parents by you know, allowing them the time to listen to the sermon. Um, there are the men's breakfasts. There are just multiple opportunities to touch people's lives and to show Christ's love in so many ways. So I would just urge you to take a look, see if, you know, reading, fellowship, you, you can... That, that's a way to share the love of Christ by encouraging people to stay and to talk to each other and to just, you know, be in each other's lives after worship. So take a look and, you know, feel connected and feel connected to other people and show the love of Christ to people outside our congregation and within our congregation. And if, you know, that's something that you want to do, there are always, always ways to do that here at Shepherd of the Woods. Thank you.